Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. And I'm Dick Brennan. Mayor Adams is demanding the state legislature pass a plan that he says will lead to more affordable housing. As CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer explains, this could impact where asylum seekers are sheltered. An empty lot in the Gowanus section of Brooklyn could be a small piece of the solution to the city's housing crisis. A $200 million, 300 apartment complex, including 75 so called affordable units that could shelter the homeless or house asylum seekers, that could be built here if Albany lawmakers help out by approving a tax abatement law. We need action now. Desperate for housing, the mayor asking lawmakers to approve a package of bills that could help create 100,000 units of affordable housing. This, as it appears, the city is getting ready to use a JFK hangar to house over 800 asylum seekers. Chopper 2 found several trailers with showers and bathrooms outside the sprawling warehouse. A spokesman for Governor Hochul said the move is awaiting FAA approval. Take action now! Meanwhile, standing with union leaders and housing advocates, the mayor outlined the steps he wants lawmakers to take. Bills to provide tax abatements to developers to build affordable housing, lessen the requirements for converting office space into apartments, and make it easier to convert basements and cellars into legal accommodations. The table is set. It's now time for Albany to serve the right meal, and that right meal is a combined housing plan. Adding to the problem, New York City is now on track to receive a small fraction, less than $40 million, out of an $800 million pot of emergency funding from FEMA to cope with asylum seekers. The mayor and the budget director say it may force the city to cut services. It is a scary proposition. So far, as of the end of April, we spent like a billion dollars. And we're expecting to spend $1.4 billion this year, this fiscal year, and about $2.9 billion by the next fiscal year. Every service in the city is going to be impacted by this asylum and migrant crisis. The mayor and the city council have to reach an agreement on a new budget by the end of the month. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.